Well, I'm here for a small piece of fascia metal over here. Just took care of that, and where I set my ladder up, right here, I noticed this, and I see a shingle right there coming down. Do you guys want to do a quick inspection of this property real quick? Let's go see what's going on. Why? I'm not going to lie. It's five feet from me. I was already at it. I was like, oh, let's just shoot a little video for you guys. <sighs> every day surprises me. And our song, every day, every day. I don't even know who it is, but look at this. Okay. Roofers. What do we have going on with this? I can't make this stuff up. It's paying out a little bit. Absolutely no nail hole. No nail hole. No nail hole. No nail hole. Not even up high. I see people shoot there. Okay, this is typically what you see done wrong. It's shot high. I mean, that, that's high. That nail needs to be down here. But uh, I'm just blown away. Like, what is not nailed on this house? Holy cow. There's another one. No nail. Never a nail in this. This is lifting. So either it's not nailed or it's... Man, my goodness, gee golly. Okay, that one's up high. It does have one right there. This one, not. High, high, high. Not one nail in this one. Ooh, look at this keyway. Look at that book. That's not normal. You don't, that's not normal. That's a bit of a problem. Hmm. That's very random. Uh, you know what, there's, I didn't even catch that till now looking at it. There's no real pattern. It's not half tabbed, it's not fived over. I know the company that uh, is in charge of this. There's no nail there. There's no nail there. There's no nail here. Oh my goodness. Are they up high? What's wrong with this? No nail. The only thing holding this down is the tar, the seal strip. No nail. No nail. No way. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I gotta go down and get my uh, pouch and uh, nails, hammer, hatchet. This isn't even a hammer. This is a hatchet job. There's no nails in this. No nail here. Oh my goodness. I'm hoping it's just this edge that somebody may have just forgot. That one's not nailed, you can see. So I tried describing this in a video in the past about a tip to find out typically dimensional is all we install, architectural, laminate, build up, whatever you refer to it as, any shingle. If the seal strip is good, you don't need to pull the seal strip apart to verify if there's a nail. If you look carefully, try to hold the phone steady. Lifting, the shingle it's stuck to, if it raises, there's no nail there. Or there was and it broke through the fiberglass mat. Try another spot here. Man, I bet these are all nailed high if they are nailed. What? I am just, I'm blown away. I'm really blown away at this. My gosh. I just, I see this way too often. Look, I got a tear coming down. I see it so much. <laughs> no, it's really sweat. Uh, this is just it. People, I, I do this for you guys because I see this way too much. I just... It blows me away of the professional roofers. Now, granted, some of the stuff may be homeowners. I, I, I do see that. And that's a tip, too, for you uh, contractors. Don't badmouth the install until you know if they did or not, because I've done that once. It's kind of not good. So you don't make a big scene about it. You just say it's not really installed that great. It ain't nothing worse than getting made fun of, and uh, you don't know that they did it. Uh, let's walk around just real quick. Like I said, I, I know the people that are in charge of this property, so I'm going to let them know, like, hey, yeah, I don't know how it's stuck up here for 20 years, but it's probably about time to get an estimate going on it. I mean, I'm sitting on a few right here that look to be up here, but they ain't up here for long. I can't say they ain't up here for long because uh, they stuck up there this long. You're all thinking my English and grammar's bad. Let's walk around real quick. Let's just see what we got up here. We're just going to do a random spot check in different areas. Nothing to do with storm here. It's just not nailed. Let's just randomly check a few areas. Oh my gosh. S say it ain't so. Come on. Right, wrong angle for you guys. Do you see this? Am I in view? 
That's not nailed. That's not nailed. That's not nailed. This is really loose. Let's just peel it up. I did not plan this. You know, I didn't go roof a whole on house. But the point of this video, a lot of guys out there roof. A lot of guys say, oh, my job looks good. They collect it. They go to the bank and they're smiling bigger than this. And you are stuck holding the bag, as they say. This is not good. Let's check it. Oh, that one's up extremely high and to the right near the keyway. Oh, this one is way high into the left. I'm going to guess this one's not anywhere near where it needs to be either. I'm going to grab my sealer too. I will reseal these down. But this is just mind blowing. Oh my God. It gets worse. It's right there. No longer do you need to inspect and lift these up. Just look in the keyways, you know. Boom. If you're a, that's just not good. If you're gonna do your own roof, I must say, I repeat that, please. If you're gonna do your own roof, please. When I switch camera, there's like a second delay of audio. Do just a little investigating work, research, learning on some techniques. Use some common sense with it too, because just because it's on the internet doesn't mean it's true. <sighs> this one's bad. Looks good, but it's not good. See what else we can see real quick. This side is uh, quite a bit more wore out. Quite a bit more granule loss here. Got a little bit of tab damage on this side. It's been there a while, and that's actually not good there's not a lot of rain runoff just what hits this top center ridge running down if this damage were down lower you'd have quite a bit more issues going on inside but uh yeah that's wore out it's been that way for a bit um i actually shot a video this morning on a house we're doing talking about a very similar thing as this with the flashing the step flashing if you haven't seen the video if you this one releases first or later or whatever i'll try to plug later a card up here referring to that where the fascia metal comes down, no flashing rotted it out. In that scenario, it was actually quite a bit lower, less rain rot, or more rain runoff getting down into it, but it rotted out real bad. But nevertheless, shingle here goes up under, flashing, I don't like it hanging down so far, but it needs to be solid, bent up behind your fascia, preferably your fascia metal. That way it uh, protects your wood and water's not getting into your wood. You can go behind, but eh, not a big fan of that. And then if you need to, like I would have had this up higher or under the shingle, Another piece to extend it, this shingle would have come over a little bit closer. Another piece flashing, and then your cap. Just so it's a little more clean and presented you know, cosmetically, but this is still, for the most part, doing its job a whole heck of a lot better than the last. Oh, another video I've talked about. Starter rail on the bottom, not having a seal strip. So these here, taking the brunt of the winds. Of course, it's kind of buried by these buildings and stuff here, but the winds come out of this direction and there's no seal strip so they're just flipping if you buy a seal strip a starter strip it's going to be big enough to cross under it's going to have a seal strip here provided you put it on right if you use your three tab and you're going to use your three tab as starter that is absolutely fine here's what you need to do say right here to here your three tab you'll take a hook knife or whatever don't cut your shingle underneath if you're cutting on your roof but cut those tabs off it will allow that reveal or that uh, seal strip that's down in there will be your bottom of the shingle and the headlap side is your starter offset and it goes up plenty far but that will give you a seal strip shoved right down so over time you know if you install it that way if you're going to use three tab or even whatever it's going to seal down not do this causing issues this roof is uh, really getting near its end of its life Probably some of you guys might actually say it's past its life. That's a lot of granule loss. Tabs missing at a keyway. That is a problem where the shingles come together. It's a lot of fiberglass showing. Some more wind damage over here. And I'm not saying this is like wind damage to the point where it's like uh, necessarily needs to be insurance or anything like that. You know, I get people from all spectrums watching these videos. I get the people that are like, oh God, that's not insurable, or that's a denied claim, or that should have been a claim, or I would have got that covered from here to next Sunday, whatever the case may be. That's fine, yeah, it's great, kudos to you. This is more of an educational learning things that I've gathered over the years, maybe help one of you guys. So, whew, it's about lunchtime. 
give it a thumbs up. Until next time, be safe. Let me know in the comments down below if you like more content on a little more regular basis. Even if they're impromptu, unscripted, just a fly by the seat of my pants. Until next time, be safe, and we'll see you on the next video.